All right, so now that we have our rules and laws of logic, let's uh, jump into another subsection. So we have logic, uh, induction and deduction. We talked about that. Deduction is the one that we want. So logic, subsection, deduction. And then another subsection of deduction is going to be propositional versus categorical. So propositional, propositional, and categorical categorical logic. These are two subsections of deductive logic. So thankfully in math and logic these things are exactly what they say. These are two structures for relating ideas. So logic is reasoning correctly using deduction. So we're using deduction and then we get to propositional logic which is connecting propositions A and proposition B. Categorical logic does the same thing, but instead of connecting propositions A and B, it's categories A and B. So it sounds confusing, like it's saying the same thing, but here's the idea. Let's define what is a proposition. And here's the cut and dry uh, oversimplification, probably an oversimplification, but the best way to think about it is it's a sentence. That's it. A category is different category categories going to be a trait all right and again this is just an oversimplification of it it's just some trait it so uh one second here let me fix this so you have a sentence and you have some trait these are different you could have a category which is yellow what's yellow bananas this pencils yellow lemons whatever that would be a category. It's not a standalone sentence to say yellow. A proposition, however, is a standalone sentence. Um, and this is particularly a sentence that A says something and B says something, and then you connect the two. So there's some kind of connection between the two. And then from there, you could go on to connect B to something else. So let's say A is Anne goes swimming. It's a standalone sentence there. B, let's say it's Bob goes swimming. Again, another standalone sentence. So A is the whole sentence here. And B is the whole sentence. So if I connect these two, right, this is not the category, by the way, of things that go swimming. It's a proposition. If this was a trait of things that go swimming, you might call it S. And then Ann and Bob would be inside that category. But the proposition is the whole sentence. So if it's connected, if Anne goes swimming, then Bob goes swimming, these would be two separate sentences connected by an if-then statement. Okay, they'd be connected. So let's say we have another sentence, um, C. So we'll say Charlie goes swimming. B could connect to C, right? Again, these don't have to be um, swimming particularly, as long as they're just a full sentence. The propositional component is the fact that it's a standalone sentence of Anne goes swimming, Bob goes swimming, Charlie goes swimming. It could be hiking, hunting, who knows, right? Each sentence could be different. The A, B, C does not change. It could, it doesn't have to be swimming. It could be, you know, hunting. It, it doesn't really matter as long as they're standalone sentences. Categorical logic is also known as Aristotelian logic, but we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later. That's our difference between propositional versus categorical logic. And remember, these are subsections of deduction.